Hello traders, I'm Luke from Discipline Trader. Today, I want to show you a tool that automates your trading strategies and integrates with TradingView. It's called Capitalize AI and it's completely free to use. So as I'm sure you have guessed, writing the code to automate a trading strategy is very complex you need to have a solid understanding of not only what you are trying to achieve trading wise, but also be competent writing the code for that strategy in one of the many coding languages available. For the vast majority of traders, this just isn't feasible. And this is who Capitalize AI aim to help. Instead of writing the strategy in code, you can write your strategy in a plain English manner and Capitalize AI will do the rest for you. It's obviously not quite this good, but let me show you. So here we are inside the Capitalize AI tool. So I've logged into my account here. I'll show you how to set up and log into an account a little bit later in the video. But once you have done, this is the screen you're presented with. Um, so you can see on this sort of dashboard screen, we've just got some live examples of different strategies that other users have made on the platform within the tool itself. So you can see across the top, we've got different uh, tabs for different strategies for different markets. And then on the different strategies, you can see the win ratio, the, the number of hits that strategy has had. So the number of trades it's taken, its return and its profit. Um, and if you wanted to use any of these strategies or tinker with these strategies, play around with them, you get to see the strategies there. You get to see the exits, uh, the entries and everything. So you can sort of use that as a template, as it says, and then customize from there if you wanted to, uh, or or just take it as sort of inspiration for things you want to do yourself. But obviously the, the main purpose of logging into Capitalize AI is to test your own strategies. So to do, to do that, we need to go to the menu bar on the left side of the screen here, and you can press create new strategy. Now this brings you to this interface here. This is where you are actually going to write and the tool is going to code the strategy for you. So you have to just tell it what you want to happen and then it will do everything else for you. Now, you can't just write it in whatever format you like, but it does do a very good job of prompting you for the words and sort of structure of um, sentences that you've got to write. So for example, um, I've tinkered around with this, so I've, I'm gonna use a strategy that I've used before, uh, and that's going to be if the pound dollar, and you can see that as you're typing, it will make suggestions, so we can click that. So if the pound dollar, crosses above so again it's making suggestions uh, i'm just going to type in ma for moving average the moving average and then it lets you set the um criteria of that moving average so number of hours i'm going to say 21 the period let's say 15 minutes and uh, bar price is obviously close uh, and then it like i say it will prompt you to what it wants to see next so of the pound dollar so if the pound dollar crosses above the 21 15 minute moving average and so we want another aspect to this strategy uh, the pound dollar is above uh, the previous day high of the pound dollar then I want to buy a uh, hundred thousand units worth of pound dollar of yeah of pound dollar and that's it that's the strategy so this will trigger if the pound dollar crosses above the 21 15 minute moving average then and the pound dollar price is above the previous high from the previous day then this will execute a position of a hundred thousand units on the pound dollar so now we can click next now this is where you set your exit strategy. So this is where your sort of risk management comes into it. So there's a number of things you can do. Just because this tool will get you into a trade, it doesn't necessarily mean that it has to get you out of a trade. So for example, you could just skip this, this section if you wanted to. If you just wanted this to get you into trades, you would then obviously get a notification and you can manage those trades as you like, then you can go for that. Or if you just wanted to set, say a stop loss, you don't have to set an uh, a profit exit as well. You can just set a, um, where you want to close it at a loss or you can do both. So in this situation, I'm gonna do both. 
So again, the tool will prompt you on what you need to write in order to accomplish what you're trying to do. So obviously we want to close the position here. Uh, and at first we're gonna set what profit we'd like to see. So a profit of uh, ideally 2% or uh, at loss of 1%, let's say. And that's it. So this will then close the trade at either a profit of 2% or a loss of 1%. And we can press next. It will then give you sort of a confirmation of what this strategy now looks like. So you can see your entry condition, the entry action that happens once this criteria is met, and then the exit condition. Um, and then it gives you a couple of options. Now I've not connected this to any sort of trading account. This is just on Capitalize AI's website. And I'll show you how that works a little bit later. But you do get three three options. So run live would obviously be running it live on an actual account. Um, and if you'd connected a, your broker account to this platform, then that's something you could do. Simulate, this means that it will just run it like a demo trade, uh, like a demo strategy on a demo account, for example. So you could leave this running, you'll get email notifications every time something happens with it, and it will just simulate the strategy for you and let you know how it's getting on as obviously real time data, the market prices and everything progresses. And you can see how this strategy performs uh, on the real markets. Or you can back test. Now this does have some limitations because it will only back test the previous 90 days worth of data. So if you're trading on a longer term time frame, the back test function won't be totally useful to you as it stands. Um, but obviously we're doing this on a 15 minute chart, so there is going to be some use to this test here. So if I click back test, it will then start processing. So this doesn't take very long usually. Um, sometimes there is a bit of a lag, I guess, if there's more people using it than, than you know, other times when there's not, then this might take a little bit of time. But what this will do is it will look back at the previous 90 days, as you can see up in the top left, uh, top left corner there, and it will apply this strategy to the market over the last 90 days. It will then apply your exit criteria as well and see what actually happened over those 90 days. So you can see it's going through now. We can see the number of hits that it's getting and obviously the result that we're getting as a, as a result of taking those trades. Um, so 82% done, we're nearly done. Up to three trades on this back test. You'll hear the noise to say that it's been completed. So that's it, that's the back test done over the last 90 days. We had three trades in total. You can see we had one winner, uh, we had one loser, and then we had one that's returned 1.09%. So what's likely happened here is we've got to the end of the 90 days and this trade is still open. Um, so it's not been able to complete the, you know, the either 2% profit or 1% loss um, just because of that's where we've got up to in current in uh, real life. So that's given us a return of 2.08% and a profit of $2,777. But this is the fun bit. So now, now you can rerun this back test with different parameters or test different things whatever you want to do. You don't have to stop here. Testing different variations of this strategy is super easy now because we can just go back to edit back test. And there's another way to do this as well if you want to keep your results. But I want to keep uh, the same entry. I just maybe want to change uh, what this exit looks like. So if I change this to, let's get out a profit of 1% uh, or at loss of one. You can see that it will prompt you if you get it wrong of 1%. So again, next, it'll bring me to the confirmation page and I can press back test. Now you don't have to edit each back test. This is just to say that there is a mobile app as well. You don't have to edit each back test. You can see the three little dots up here. You can actually clone it. And then what that will do is it will run a separate test uh, but it will take all the details that you've entered on this test. And then when you go into your back test results, I'll show you that in a second, you'll be able to see the different back tests. I think the, the way I'm doing it, what it will do, it will essentially overwrite the test we've just done. Now that's fine if you're not interested in keeping that original test. Um, but obviously if you do want to keep that original test and want to refer back to it, then it's better to clone the test you've just done and then amend the cloned version of that strategy. So you can see we're getting more hits this time. 
Uh, so we're up to seven hits on this and that's returned us 3.92% and 5,262. Now you may be thinking, how on earth have we had more trades taken when we've tested the same time period with the same strategy? And the reason is one of the drawbacks in my opinion of this tool is that if you are in a trade or if this is in a trade and another setup happens but your previous trade is still running, it will not take that trade, it will skip it. Um, now obviously that makes sense to some traders in certain situations maybe where they're at their max risk which is fine but personally when I'm back testing I want to know what all the setups are doing. Um, of course I'm going to manage my risk in real life trading situations but it would be really good to he to just have the option to say to it right but I want to take all the setups that come along regardless of whatever risk I'm at. I just want to know the success rate of these setups really. Um, so that would be a nice option to add in the future, I think, for the platform. But that aside, you can see we have improved our return and profit. And it obviously gives you a breakdown for each of these trades. So it's 83% 83 winning trades. So we took five winners and one loser. Um, so that worked quite well. And if this simulates this data as you would trade, then that's really helpful. Obviously, this, this is, took, took 30 seconds to test 90 days. Of, um, of data. There's no way I'm doing that on any other backtesting platform or trading platform ever. Obviously, the for me, this is really helpful because of how quick it is um, and its ability to write the code for automating strategies. As far as backtesting goes, I personally think unless you've got a lot of experience in the markets, manually backtesting is very valuable. Um, so. I did a video on a platform called Forex Tester a little while ago, and while that will be way more time consuming than a tool like this, which saves you so much time, if you're brand new to trading, something like that can have, uh, it can be a great exercise for getting used to a trading platform or seeing how price moves, navigating different time frames, things like that. But obviously if you're, if you're already experienced in that sort of thing, this platform is really, really fantastic. Um, so let's have another go at editing it. Let's see if we can improve this anyway. So we'll keep the same strategy. Uh, and instead of 1% loss, again, if I reduce this down to say 0.5, the losing trades will happen quicker. So obviously if we're out of trades quicker, then it will get us into the next setup. So that's that, like I say, that's the only thing that I don't personally like too much is that I don't know how many setups I'm missing. Uh, that would be, even if you're not going to test them, that would be cool to know as well. Um, so, like I said, this will not take long. And then I'll show you the back testing performance um, in like the dashboard of your account sort of thing. So what we're looking to do here is obviously just increase the profitability of it. Okay, and that's done. Like I say, not long at all. Again, we've got a few more trades taken this time. And like I say, that's just because that we got out of those trades quicker so we can get into new trades um, more frequently over the 90 days. So again, we've had five winners and three losers this time, but obviously the losers have only lost us half a percent and the winners have made 1%. So we've returned 3.49% this time and $4,705. So you can see over, if you're wanting to test over this sort of time period, it's very, very useful. Um, and like I say, if you come over to my strategies on the left-hand side on the, the panel, you'll be able to see any live strategies, any stop strategies, and any back-tested strategies. Um, so looking at this, let's have a look which one was today. It was this one. So because I have then edited that back-test rather than cloning it, is obviously not kept the previous strategies. So if I cloned this, for example, went back to next and say, change this to 0.25% and run this, you 
You can see we've, we've got even more hits this time, but the tight stop has really sort of killed me. Eight losers to three winners. And for a vast majority of that back test, we were actually in the red. Um, but now if I go back over to my strategies and to back tests, you will see that we've got both these results now. So if you're wanting to then come into a screen like this and compare what the results were, definitely use the clone function rather than the edit function. Now I mentioned that there were some limitations based on what you can use within Capitalize AI as far as um, like the indicator um, rules that you can use because there's not there's not really loads and loads of indicators that you can configure within this tool. But there is a way around that and that's where it integrates with TradingView. So if you pop over to TradingView and say here we've got a chart of the pound dollar and you wanted to use uh, say your strategy use the VWAP. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Let's go down to a 15 minute chart. So here we have the VWAP. And let's say your strategy is to buy it on the break of the upper band on the VWAP. So if price moves past this, we want to buy essentially. And uh, we could do a separate strategy for if the price moves past the lower band, we want to sell. Well, this is how you do it. Pop over back to your Capitalize AI and you can press if, and then you can write the word webhook. Now what this will do is it will say, if this trigger is triggered, then, then I will do my next thing. Uh, and what you can do is you can attach these to alerts within TradingView. Uh, so obviously this isn't going to work for backtesting, but it will do it for sim uh, for running live strategies. So you, these are the details you'll need, so I'll leave them up on the screen there. But essentially, if we come back over here and we right click, so add alert to VWAP. So we want the condition, we want the pound dollar price crossing the VWAP upper band. So when price crosses the upper band, we want to know about it. Now you can set how often you want to be alerted on this. I'm just going to do only once for now. Uh, and then this is where you add in the capitalized AI tag. So if you come back, we need the URL and you can do this in this box here, webhook URL. You can just paste that in. And then what it needs also is the message. So again, you can press copy there and then you, you paste this in the, the message box down here and press create. Now this says uh, alert may trigger differently from what you expect. This is because it's based on an indicator or strategy that can get repainted. Well, obviously we know that we want the, the VWAP to be moving all the time. So yes, continue anyway. So now we can see if we go to our alert screen, we've got this active alert here on the VWAP. So if price is going to cross above that, then, then we will get triggered. So we can press if webhook triggers, then what do you want to do? So if that happens, we want to buy buy pound dollar, 100 pounds worth. That's it. So even though we can't configure the VWAP within Capitalize AI, we can still do it via the integration with TradingView's webhooks. So it's a really helpful tool. Now you can add alerts to anything you want. So if I come back to this uh, TradingView screen, you can add alerts to, say you use support and resistance, you can add alerts to lines. So add alert to this line. And again, you can just put the, the um, URL and the message on the line. You can do it for any of your indicators. Um, so the, like I said, there's, there could be anything that you use in here. I don't know why parabolic SIR keeps popping into my head, but it does. Um, and again, if you right click on it, you can add alerts to parabolic SIR. You can add it to anything that you want to use. Um, it's a really, really helpful little integration, particularly when you're using Capitalize AI. Um, and like I say, then you can configure the alert itself if you want this to be an ongoing thing. So if you set this to be only once, then your strategy in Capitalize AI is only going to get the first um, trigger. And then once that's happened, this trigger is going to stop working. So you'll never get any more trades. So obviously, if you do want it to happen, choose once per bar or once per bar close, once per minute, however you want it. And obviously the expiration time on it, you need to set that as well. 
um, otherwise you might run into problems. But you can see how it can be a very, very helpful integration for strategies that you want to write where for the time being, Capitalize AI doesn't have that functionality within its actual platform. So it's a good workaround. So let me write a strategy that's going to use what we call the webhook uh, within TradingView. So if I type if webhook, uh, we've got the URL already in TradingView and I'm going to do it on the UK 100. So what we can do is we can go, let me write the rest of the strategy. If webhook triggers, then buy UK 100. Yeah. 100,000 pounds worth. And if you click on webhook, you can get the details back up. This is the message I need. So if I go back here, I want it to trigger on the lower band of this VWAP. So if I go add alert, I want the price crossing the VWAP lower band. Let's do once per bar, open ended. Oops, that will do. Uh, URL's fine. And then paste our message and create. Continue anyway, because this is saying that basically the VWAP repaints and that's fine. And off we go, continue. Now that should give me an alert pretty quickly. And that's just because it's done it on this current band. So that's fine, okay. So we go back to our strategy. That's fine, that's what we want. I'm gonna click simulate because this is going to be on like a demo account rather than simulating on a live account, uh, running on a live account. Next, we are going to run this in loop uh, and we'll just say, Close position at profit uh, of 2% or at loss of 2%. So one to one. Next. And that's it. Now we can simulate it. We get our same um, UK 100 sim. We get our same sort of confirmation page. And now we can simulate this. Now you'll be brought to this page. Now this is simply the strategy running live on, on the simulation. You can see the strategy is live and this is just waiting for the trigger. So if I go back here, we've got this new candle now. And if this breaks up and touches this lower band, this will send an alert to Capitalize AI to say, this has been triggered. Capitalize will go, okay, my webhook has been triggered. What do I do now? It will go to the rest of the strategy and do what it needs to do. And you can see that once the alert has been triggered on TradingView, that then opens the trade within Capitalize AI. So then once it's received the webhook trigger, it will then look at the rest of your strategy to understand what it needs to do with the trading account that it's connected to. Now, obviously this one's just a simulate, so it's just simulating the trade that we asked it to. But if you were using a live account, then it would look to act on what you've told it to do. So you can see that using webhooks in this manner is a really helpful way to get around any sort of limited functionality within Capitalize AI if you want to run your live strategies through it, through the integration that we've got with TradingView and their alert webhooks. So it's a really helpful tool. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, you can connect Capitalize AI to a live trading account, provided you're using one of their partnered brokers. Now, as far as I understand it, they are looking to add more brokers to their partner brokers all the time um, because their model, essentially, they don't charge the users of Capitalize AI, they sort of charge the brokerages that use them. So for example, if you press the kick, uh, get started button on the web page, you're brought to this screen here. And you can see these are the brokers that they've got at the minute. So for example, FXCM, Forex and things like that, CFDs, Binance for cryptos, um, and then some other brokerages as well, interactive brokers. So if you've got accounts with these people, then you can then connect your Capitalize AI account to your trading account with these brokers. Um, and like I say, in the future, I'm sure they're looking to add more brokers to this list. Now, that's one of the ways you can use the Capitalize AI tool. But if you don't have an account with any of these brokers and you still want to use it, maybe just try it out, you can still do that. So 
like I say, there's two ways to use this and they're both completely free. So the one, the first one is to connect it to your broker account. The second one is just to sort of use what is essentially a demo account on the Capitalize AI web, Capitalize AI website. Um, so if you trade cryptos, choose crypto. If you trade Forex or stocks or anything like that, just choose CFDs. You can press free sign up. And then when you press this, this will take you to a short sign up form. Um, if you have already created an account, literally all you need to do is pop an email and a password in there and consent. But if you have already signed up, you can just press sign in there at the bottom and sign into your account. And it will take you back to the account you created before. So obviously this is the account that we've just been using for the video. So that's Capitalize AI in a nutshell. That's how it works. That's uh, the functionality it has. You, you know how to use uh, the actual strategy writing tool, the exit strategy. You can run back tests in it and simulation accounts as well as connecting to a live account if that's something that you want to do. And like I say, Capitalize AI is completely free to use. You either need to just connect it to your actual live account if you have one with the partnered brokers or just go onto the website and sign up for free. You don't need any details other than an email and a password and you can use everything that the tool has got and see if you like it. Um, it's a, like I say, for some people, it's probably not going to be so useful because of the limitations that it's got at the minute, particularly with the back testing and, and things like that. But if you do have strategies or you use strategies that can be automated in this way, then it's going to be a really helpful tool for you. Even if you just want to use it to get you into the trades so that you can manage them yourself, um, or whether you want the, it to manage the whole thing for you, it can be a really, really helpful tool. So pop over to the website and give it a go. So give it a try and let me know what you think. This tool is still developing and I can see that it will be very useful to more and more traders as it develops. Thanks for watching traders, see you next time.